Good morning. Let's talk about integrals and Stokes theory. Consider a manifold. Let's say M. And this manifold is defined as scalar density phi. To each point of that manifold, manifold is defined so a quantity that is a scalar here, 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 here. Unlike tensors, the transformation from different references maintain the scalar of the file. Mathematically, if we call Phi, the scalar field, phi at x1 plus phi at x2 is equal to the transformed scalar field in another prime reference. Let's name it with the prime. Okay, it's obvious that we can sum over a region of a manifold and preserving the scalar property. We can so integrate over a region. Omega and obtain a scalar quantity. So now let's go to calculate these integrals. Let's consider a region parametrized of a manifold of equation x, uh, let's call a uh, the components. With parameter U, e, where E goes from 1 to M, dimension of the subspace of our manifold. Let's define a volume element. Volume element element. The top a one, a two, till a n. It's obvious that this is a tensor. Let's define it as Kronecker delta a one b one. A two, a two. Till I yeah. That's a definition. Quite a bit long. Uh, 
and take here the differential d1 till d2 hence if x a1 a2 till an is a covariant tensor rank of rank n the quantity that I, I am writing x a1 till n multiplied by the tau a1 a2 n is a scalar quantity and for the precedent words we can integrate this and obtain a scalar quantity So now let's state the Stokes theorem properly. It says that the integral made in the boundary of subspace omega m of the product that we say before. It's equal to the integral on the region omega n, which the boundary is the, the omega n partial derivative of x r1 till a n. The tau of one till uh, let's correct here is I am minus one in this way the product of x and the tau is um, a tensor of rank one. E a vector. This is the Stokes theorem. This theorem, in the case uh, we treat four dimensions, become the Gauss theorem or the divergence theorem. Let's state it uh, that is particular case. I repeat of the Stokes theorem is that. E, let's call it e a, a vector the CA the surface the surface of our four dimensional region manifold it's equal to e a The notation here used is the notation of divergence. In many literature you find this notation. The omega. Okay, let's define this. Uh, it's obvious to verify and is left as an exercise that. The, the, the reason for this term factorial the tau 
widget. That is the Gauss theorem. Four dimension involved. Why the Stokes theorem? M dimension generic Gauss theorem. Okay. And that's all.